Alright, so what's up? Um, I tried recording this video last night when I got off work, but honestly I sounded like angry in the video and it, it just didn't turn out the way I wanted to, so I'm retaking the video today and we're just gonna go ahead and uh, get straight into this. So yesterday after I got off work and went and got my coffee for the night and sat down at my computer, I seen a ton of people on Twitter absolutely roasting Ubisoft like a marshmallow. And you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna beat around the bush here, dude i thought it was hilarious and you know like I, I was glad to see them get roasted because i mean how many times have they screwed over the consumer people who spent over 130 canadian for the early access version of star wars outlaws on ps5 were getting their save files chucked into the abyss if you want the full version of Star Wars Outlaws or like Assassin's Creed Shadows in Canada, with tax included, it's like $200. And the game probably won't even be finished at launch. They also might take a game called The Crew that's sitting in your library and just Thanos snap it out of existence. But we're not really here to talk about Ubisoft's games themselves today. We're here to talk about a mentorship program because out of all the posts I was seeing of everyone roasting Ubisoft, I seen a lot of people mention this. So I ended up stumbling upon this mentorship program. With more people playing video games than ever before, it is important for us to help build an inclusive entertainment industry that reflects the diversity of our players. With this mentorship, we have an exciting opportunity to support talents from different backgrounds, bringing fresh perspectives and new ideas. The selected candidates will create a project based on a predetermined theme and will be mentored by an Ubisoft expert over a fixed period from November 2024 to March 2025. During this time, they will receive feedback to help build their project. So, so far, nothing really seems wrong. They want everyone to feel included at work and hear stories from different backgrounds or whatever. Cool. But you're gonna see this, like, whole inclusive act they're putting on is a complete lie because they're preaching inclusivity and practicing exclusivity. Eligibility Criteria To be eligible, you must identify as a woman or non-binary individual. Hold on a minute. That excludes an entire gender of people. But you just said you wanted to create an inclusive work environment. Furthermore, I did some research around online and I found this picture right here, 2007 versus 2024 Ubisoft staff. That doesn't look very inclusive of a staff group to me on the bottom there. If it was truly an inclusive work environment, you would see a mix of men and women. You wouldn't see only men or only women. And what I fucking hate about having these types of discussions online is people will call you sexist for calling out sexism. It's like a, like, circle of brain damage. Uh, I don't really know how to say it. You can call out, like, a racist or sexist company, and then people get mad at you for calling them out. I mean, it's just, it's fucking stupid, dude. The truth is, anyone who is qualified for the job should have a chance at getting that job. It shouldn't matter what their skin color or gender identity is. All that should matter is if they are qualified to do the job they are applying for. The truth is, everyone deserves an equal opportunity. And that includes men as well. And the companies that do this sort of shit will be the exact same types of companies trying to lecture you about inclusivity. I don't want to fucking hear it, you guys are hypocrites. But the truth is, a lot of the gaming population is male, and when they see things like this, it makes them not want to support your game. And trust me, you guys really need support on your games, and you need people to buy your games. Look at your stocks. In the past five days, you guys have had a pretty significant drop in your stock price. And it comes around the exact same time as you mentioned this mentorship program. Coincidence? I don't know. And it might drop even farther after this, who knows? Here is a picture of their stock price over the past month. Look at that steep decline. This is their stock price over the past six months. This is their stock price over the past year. And this right here is their all-time stock price. Their stock is at the lowest point it's been since 2014. And you expect men to go out and buy Assassin's Creed Shadows after you blatantly disrespect us like this? Yeah, no thanks. I don't support companies that hate me over something that I cannot control. I will save my money and I will buy games like Space Marine 2, 
I'll buy the new Zelda game when it comes out. I'll buy the new Doom game. I will not buy Assassin's Creed Shadows. I will give the money to developers that actually deserve my money and respect me and do not hate me for something I can't control. I urge any man out there not to buy Assassin's Creed Shadows. You know, if this game flops, it might be the end of Ubisoft. I'm not even kidding. You know, speak with your wallet. Man, stuff like this is why I have such a negative view of modern gaming at the moment. There's so many companies out there focusing on things like this instead of just making good video games for people to enjoy. There might be like the most talented man in the world out there that will want to join this mentorship program but can't because of his gender, and that's all sorts of talent just being thrown out. Anyway, like, this video's been all over the place, but I had to say something about this because I seen everyone talking about it and I wanted to get my two cents in. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the Space Marine gameplay as well, it's a pretty fun game.